What's up guys, I'm your real Soto. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own membership header that displays whenever a user is logged in and it hides whenever a user is of course logged out. So let me go ahead and show you guys the header that we're going to be creating. So whenever someone is logged in, this is a header that is going to be displayed. So as you can tell, we have a logo and then we have a menu on the left side here. And then we have some little um, icons, a little gear icons. Maybe we can direct people to the settings. And maybe if we have a little um, support area, they can click on this. And then we have this uh, little um, drop down here that also displays um, their name and says hello admin or whatever username they're using. Uh, you can also set that up to pretty much display uh, maybe something else. So, and then we also have a drop down here to the account and the logout. So user can just log out on here and then we go ahead and display their profile picture here. And whenever someone clicks on this profile picture, we can send them to their account. Now, this is pretty much what we're going to be creating. So this is completely mobile optimized. So let me go ahead and show you guys that here. As you can tell, it's looking great. And then we go on to a mobile and everything's looking perfect. So that is pretty much it. I hope you guys end up enjoying this video. So let's go ahead and begin here. So hopefully you guys already have your header set up on your website. If you haven't created your header using Elementor, um, I do have plenty of videos on that on my channel. I'll try to link that right above here. Now, let's go ahead and just get started here. So head over to your dashboard. And let's go into our plugins. As we're going to need a couple plugins. So as you can tell, of course, we're going to be using Elementor. And I am using Elementor Pro. Um, I highly recommend that you have this plugin. Um, I do have some links down in the description. So if you guys do want to support the channel, um, you guys can go ahead and uh, view those. And then we're going to be using a login logout register menu plugin. Um, I can't pronounce its name here, but um, this is the plugin here. So go ahead and install and activate this plugin. And then we're going to be using a one user avatar and this is by um, one designs and and I am I'm using this mainly just to add a um, a profile image to my um, to my account just so then I can show you guys how that's going to look like whenever we set up the the uh, membership menu here. And then the next one is a user menus. This one's pretty important. So it's just called code Atlantic. Um, sorry, I just went to the website on accident. And then this is how that plugin looks like here. I mean, once you search this up, you'll definitely find it. Just search for user menus and you'll definitely see it on here. So the final plugin that we're going to be using, which is probably the most important plugin is called visibility logic for Elementor. Um, it's made by um, uh, stacks WP. And this is how it looks like here. Just look up visibility logic for Elementor and it should be the first one here. So now that we've covered the plugins that we need to use here, let's go into appearance and let's go into our menus and let's set that up first. So this is my main nav menu. Obviously this is not really important because that's just my, um, my personal menu that I set up here. Um, the main ones that we need to worry about are account menu and our member menu, which are pretty similar, honestly, but there is a difference. Um, I probably should have named this member header, but whatever. Let's go into um, member menu. Now, this is just the menu that people are going to see whenever they are logged in. Because like I mentioned, um, the header is going to switch to a to a different header once you're logged in. And this is what I would advise you to set up. Um, these aren't really pages. They're just custom links, um, as you can tell here. So I suggest you uh, create those. Maybe you're going to have different pages. So just add your pages that you want to have. Um, but if you're just following along just to learn, then just create these four pages and you can just create that by going to custom links and then adding a pound sign on here and then just adding the, the name of the page. Okay. And then just call this member menu and then save it. All right. And then the next one is going to be account menu. There we go. So um, let me actually show you how to create this one just so then you guys have an idea here. So head over to custom links and then go ahead and type in uh, the pound sign. And then we want to go ahead and greet the user. So type in hello, comma, and then we're going to 
type in our curly brackets and within our curly brackets we're going to type in username and let's add that right in there there we go and now I'll go into a uh, login and log out we're just going to add a login here and we're going to use that as a sub menu here and then um, we also want to add a account so let's go into pages and let's add this account here now this is just your generic account page um so it's not really anything fancy here um okay or you can just go ahead and create your account your own account page i will actually probably create a dashboard um later on for elementor and show you guys how to do that and this will probably be wherever the account page is that's where you're going to see the dashboard so that's how that's going to work um, but we'll set that account page later on okay so now let's go ahead and just save this and um let's go into our templates here theme builder and i already have one here it's called membership um header so this is pretty much just the one that we're going to be working on i mean i could have just called this header anyway because it is also a regular header um, but let's go in here and click on edit with elementor now of course if you haven't created your header go ahead and do so and um, your membership header is going to be in the same location as your regular header that you have throughout your website so as you can tell this one is pretty much for everyone that lands on the website um, we're going to create a second header here and this one is actually going to be our um our membership header so i mean i could duplicate this one and just um add on to it but you know what i'm going to just create it from scratch just so then you guys get a general idea so i'm going to create a section here and um within that section let's do uh two columns and let's first of all click on your section now this is just my preference you guys don't have to do this but on my website as you can tell i'm doing full width so i'm going to continue to do this for my header and as you can tell it does adjust accordingly so if i make this any smaller it'll adjust um so it's fine so now from here Let's go ahead and add our logo actually click on your section again and i'm going to adjust the color now this is just a color that i'm using of course you can use white or whatever that may be um, but just for this video i'm going to use blue there we go and the blue that i am using in case you guys did want to follow along is this one here it's us it's a pound sign six three eight eight e eight all right so now let's go ahead and add our um our logo here um, so I'm just gonna add an image with our logo I could just copy this one but um, okay so then go ahead and select your logo now if you guys are wondering how I got this logo if you do have Elementor Pro um, it is actually right here as you can tell I just I pretty much just inserted this um, header and then I just grabbed it after that it gets saved in your media library after you insert this header so i just use that logo there um so now let's go ahead and click on your logo here go to advance um go to positioning and let's make this in line here and we probably want to shrink this a bit so you know instead of shrinking it over here um go into advanced positioning and go into custom and we could just shrink it through here there we go so you want to make it about the same size as the other one and then click on your section here again and on each side we want to add some padding so on the left side we'll do 20 and on the right side we'll do 20 just to kind of line this up with this one and then we are going to have to remove the gap on here so make sure you're on your section header go into layout um and then let's do no gap and just so then we don't get confused here let's go into the navigator and we can actually name these here so so this one is just going to be our regular header and then this one's going to be our membership header so we can just call this membership header you can even just call it membership but there we go so we just don't want to get confused here all right so now, now let's go ahead and click on this um, column here our first column and let's make sure we set up a vertical alignment to the middle there we go and don't worry we'll just uh the height of this um header later on so now let's go ahead and add our menu um have your nav menu put in here we're also going to have to do an inline as well we'll change it to our uh, member menu um let's just do this really quick set this up to white 
and let's go into advanced what just set right now so our positioning should be set to inline and let's move it under it so it could be on the side there we go and um Let's go into your style for the nav menu and we're going to be using for the font we're going to be using uh, i think it's called uh what is it called monster it hopefully i'm pronouncing that properly um and let's do because we want to use pretty much the same one as here so let's do 500 and um let's go ahead and just make this a little smaller here don't want it too big also so probably about uh 16 17 probably about 15 i think that's fine and uh on on our hover just set that back to to, uh, to white and that's fine here and our pointer we can just set this to one that's good and now go ahead and click on your um nav menu make sure you're in your nav menu and on your vertical this is how we're going to adjust the height on this on your vertical padding go ahead and just make that bigger you see so that will actually help us out and then we'll still have that um, that hover line right under each um, each link here as well. You just can't see it right now, but we'll be able to see it once we uh, view it on the live site. There we go. Then we did the same thing with that one, as you can tell there. Okay. So set yeah, set this up to about uh, I think thirty is too much. So let's do twenty five instead and. Uh, 27 I think was good so let's just leave it at 27 maybe we might adjust that later on all right maybe we can make this uh logo a little bigger if we wanted to sorry a little smaller if we wanted to just to kind of have it the same size as the other one there we go all right so now now that we have this menu here we want to go ahead and set up our actual like membership um options here and this is a pretty cool part so um Let's go ahead and start off with an image here. So let's add this image in. And let me set this up and then I'll show you how to do this. So go to your dynamic tags and we're going to actually use um, user profile picture. As you can tell, it's just a picture of me. Um, and then let's go into border radius and let's set this up to 100. And then let's just adjust the sizing of this. There we go. And let's add some padding to this. And I'll show you how you can add your profile image here in a bit. Um, obviously, for most users, um, if they can add a profile image, well, they can just um, adjust that. But we're going to have to do ours in the back end. So let's go into border here. Go do solid. And I do want to do a cool little color here. Um, so let's go ahead and maybe do this color. I think that's cool. And in case, oops, in case you guys are wondering, I'm sure you guys can just find it anyway. It's really, I just picked a random one, um, but it, the color is 00F8FF with the pound sign, of course, at the beginning. Um, and let's, let's go ahead and set this to inline. Positioning inline, uh, inline. Are we selected on the right one here? We probably need to adjust this. Yeah, there we go. So you know what? Leave it at this first and then um, go into responsive. Go into, sorry, go into positioning. Let's do custom and then go to just shrink this here. There we go. Leave it about that size, uh, maybe about a little smaller actually. And we probably maybe don't want the border, I guess, uh, too much on here. So let's adjust this border here with that's three will be fine and uh positioning you can maybe make this a little bigger there we go and go go ahead and click on your column here and set this up to the middle and let's move this to the end all right so real quick here in order to set up a profile picture because for you you're probably not going to have that profile picture set up so anyway go into your dashboard that is why we um we added that uh, avatars plugin so go ahead and go, go ahead and click on this and then, so now that now that you have this set up, just make sure it's set up to this way. This one, this one's by default, but this part doesn't really matter. Um, but go into your users, go into all users, 
click on your profile here scroll down and then right here you'll have an option to be able to add your profile so just go ahead and click on obviously i got to remove mine but i'm not going to so just click on choose image and then just choose your, your image here that you want to use uh, maybe you can use this one instead whatever it may whatever you want right that's pretty much how you just um, set that up there all righty so um, now that we have that set up let's go ahead and um, and add um, our other menu here so go into um, your elements and grab another nav menu and pull this right in and what we can do is instead of um, we can just copy this one and just reuse it so go ahead and click copy and then paste it in here and then um, we'll obviously switch that around go and then switch it to account menu and then go ahead and move it to the side instead I think this one has to be under it I believe here we go so that's perfect all right so now as you can tell whenever someone hovers over this they can go to their account or log out uh, we can go ahead and adjust that real quick if we wanted to um, so if we wanted to maybe make this a little bit better we can do um, let's go into style here go into drop down maybe we want to make this uh, the horizontal alignment a little bit bigger right so yeah so yeah we can go ahead and set this up like this if we wanted to um i don't want to have too much horizontal padding so let's maybe just set it up like that is fine for me um and then let's just adjust the uh, the hover background color let's set this to blue just like how we've been doing there we go so they can either go to count or they can log out um okay so that's set up good and then we just need to add one more thing here now this is something optional, but I do kind of like to add this. So um, I'm just gonna add a little icon list here and you'll kind of see what I add here. So so I'm gonna set these up side by side and I'm gonna remove the text and I'm just gonna honestly only use uh, the icons. So the first one that I'm gonna use is gonna be this gear icon here. Uh, let's see, what is this icon actually called? Oh, it's called the cog. Okay, so step in cog and then go ahead and use this one here. And then the second one that we're going to use is, I know this one is an envelope, so just type an envelope. And we're going to use this one here. Perfect. Now the color of this is going to be set to white. And we can go ahead and adjust this probably to the right size. Uh, I think this is pretty good. We'll add some, uh, go into your advanced, go to positioning, and let's set this to inline, of course, so everything can fit perfectly. And we want to set this up to the other side. So you know what, let's uh, add it above, actually. There we go. Okay. So now maybe we can make these a little bit smaller if they do seem like they're a little bit big. So there we go. All right. Now, of course, you can pretty much link these out to anywhere. Um, this can be maybe the account settings, some sort of setting this can be if they have a mailbox maybe they can link it to that or you can change the icon to something else i mean it's optional but it is just to show you just to add that little um membership feature right so now let's go ahead and see how this looks like in action now obviously we're going to have both menus here um but once we actually set up the condition then we'll just see one menu so um you can tell it says hello admin and it'll pretty much just say hello to their username um, so this doesn't link out to anything, but we can maybe link this out to an account so we can go ahead and click on this and Maybe link this out. We can add a custom link and link this out to like the account or something um, so Depending on how, how you want to go about doing that All right, so what I did want to do though real quick is maybe add some spacing from um, this menu here because I think it's way too close so click on the menu, go into advance, and from the left side, let's do about 20. Or let's do about 30 here. There we go. So that's better. All right. Now let's real quick, let's add our conditioning, and then we'll go ahead and mobile optimize this and pretty much end the video here. So click on your first header, the one that's pretty much, um, the one that shows up on the website for everyone, doesn't matter. Um, they're logged in. 
so this one here going to go into um your visibility here stacks visibility and then go ahead and um enable this and then so we want to go ahead and hide this hide this menu as you can tell hide all all types is fine go to user roles and go ahead and activate this and we want to go ahead and hide this for logged in users right um so hide it for logged in users this doesn't display anymore all right and then now go into this one here and this one's a little bit different we're gonna put in hide as well or we can put show it doesn't really doesn't really matter um, but we can put hide and for user roles we want to go ahead and hide this one for um for guests we can go ahead and hide guests but let's just let's just do this instead let's do show and let's do show for logged in users there we go and then now you'll see that we'll only have this menu here and um let me go ahead and actually set this up set this custom link to the home so then this at least links out to the home page so now if i go here and i view the website see now this is um only set up for logged in users now if i were to log out we'll see the other menu right now and i'll go ahead and show you that just want to make this into a sticky navigation real quick all right now let me go ahead and show you how this would look like whenever we log out here. Oh, so that took me back to the menu, but I am logged out. Of course, you can set that up later. Now, as you can tell, we have a different menu here, but if we want to go ahead and log in, and then once we log in and we go back to our dashboard, of course we can, I think I've done videos on how to um, redirect after login and all that stuff. I do have a video that shows you how to create a login form. And also I think I mentioned how to actually um, redirect people to a certain page. So I'll try to link that video. It's probably really important because it does help you out with uh, connecting everything here and making everything work. Um, so there we go. Now we have our um, membership menu here. All right. So I haven't linked these out to anywhere, but it, this is just something optional. Maybe I will whenever I create like a, a, a dashboard and maybe I'll show you guys how to do that. So. Now let's just go ahead and mobile optimize. If you want to stay for this portion, then you can. But if you're pretty much already know what to do, then um, you kind of don't have to. So I'm just going to mobile optimize this really quick. Um, so obviously we're having that issue there. So what I like to do whenever I'm having issues with um, the menus is I usually just disappear this one, as you can tell. So you can just click on the eyeball here. And in case you know, you're having issues where the other menu is getting in the way, um, you can go ahead and fix that. So now let's go ahead and click on this menu because this one is more for a tablet so click on this nav menu go into content and let's set this to to mobile instead um it is a little bit tricky for uh for for uh, mobile though but at least for tablet we can set it up so this is fine this is still pretty good this we're gonna have to just leave it as a hamburger menu so go into your content and then do full width on that one and um go into i think style and let's go into toggle button and let's go ahead and remove this and let's make this white just because i know this menu is not going to fit um so we're just going to have to do it this way for now maybe we can move remove some of the padding because i noticed that there is some padding on here but that is to move it to the left side um so we can either leave it like this but i honestly don't really like this so I'm thinking of leaving it this way and then switching this menu to the left side. I feel like that'll be perfect. So let's go ahead and click on this menu here on this um, yeah, on this nav menu. Go into custom CSS and let's just write some uh, media query really quick here. So um, this starts at 1024. So just do a uh, at sign media media. Um, Add some brackets in between there and let's do max max width colons and 1024 pixels and then after that we'll put in some uh, curly brackets oh, i have this probably down in the description so you guys can copy this and then let's just do selector colon um and let's end this and then in between here oh sorry i actually completely did that wrong sorry about that put selector and then curly brackets totally off here um and then put order colon 
and we're going to do one. And the reason this probably isn't working is let me minimize this anyway, because maybe it just doesn't start. OK, so we're going to have to do the same thing for the other one. Um, we're probably going to have to set up the other one at um, at two. So go into CSS, paste this in, and let's set this up to two. There we go. So now that switched it over, and I do want to remove um, the pad, the padding on this. And let's go ahead and just uh, maybe move the logo a bit. So go to your margin on the logo and just move that a bit. Um, we can, what we can also do is let's move this maybe about like right here, and let's make the logo a little bit bigger. So go into your positioning, and let's go and just adjust that here. There we go. So that's how that would be set up there. Um, that's just how I would do it. If you want to make this a little smaller, you can. The text is fine on here. Okay, so now let's go into, and now let's see that, of course, it works on every size, as you can tell. So that's perfect. Now the tricky one is mobile. So um, this is fine, how that's set up, but this, I mean, this whole entire thing. So what I would do instead for mobile, I would have maybe a different menu, and then within this menu, have lock out. That would be the only way that I could think of doing it. Um, because having two menus is obviously not going to work out, right? Um, so, or we could just remove this because I don't really think this one's really that necessary. And then we can just go ahead and add log out to this menu and switch it. And I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So let's do this really quick here. Um, so let's just go into, click on this um, hamburger nav menu. Go into advanced, go into responsive, and let's just hide it on um, on mobile. And let's see how that looks now. So it's still looking pretty good. We just need to shrink the, the logo here. So just shrink your logo a bit so we can get things to fit properly. And we probably want to remove some of the spacing on here. So go into your section and let's do 10 instead of 20. And then let's uh, maybe shrink this uh, hamburger menu at least a little bit. It doesn't have to be shrunk too much, but uh, just a little bit will be fine and then we can go ahead and adjust this so let's go to maybe make this dirty let's just see where everything fits here 50 nope so it's probably gonna be maybe 60 or 70 so everything fits at 60 and then we can leave this one up to 40 and let's see if it fits here okay so it does fit we just need to adjust some of the spacing on that as you can tell um, so click on your section here and then maybe let's do uh, 15 from the top and 15 from the bottom and like I mentioned, I do want to hide this one because I don't want to show that other one here. Does the what's getting in the way. There we go. So that's looking pretty good there. And obviously it works for pretty much any other size, as you can tell. So obviously when it gets a little smaller, we have that issue, but most screens don't really get that small anyway. Um but if anything, you can just make you can just make these icons a little smaller and just reduce the spacing in between these. And then um, we can also do this as well and maybe even make this this image a little smaller. So I know we was in here in positioning. Not to be too small, but it's just right. There we go. There we go. So now that all fits perfectly. So that's how you would go about doing that. But then obviously, like I mentioned, um, so we would have to switch this menu here. So what I would do is just go into appearance menus. Um, and then I think we can have a login logout menu, but it won't show up only if uh, you are logged in. So go into membership menu here. Um, oh, wait, but yeah, it, won't, it will only show up on, uh, on that one. So that probably won't be great for us to do because we can't set it up by, by condition. So what we're going to have to do is just create a new membership menu. Um, I hope I was now it looks like we can't duplicate this one, which is kind of a bummer, but we have products, add ons, community and resources. So um, I'm just going to open this in a new tab and just copy it, honestly. So I can call this membership menu and I can call this mobile. Right. And then we can go ahead and just create create on create menu. And then uh, what I can do is just um, re-add those pages on here. Okay, and then for this one, let's go ahead, because now we don't need this other one anymore. I'm just going to exit out of this because it's not really that important. And then we can just go ahead and add um, log out. 
There we go. Okay, and then just re we just refresh this and just switch the menu, and that's pretty much it. Um, we can even add a, a my account as well. Honestly, I don't think we did add that on here. So if we wanted to, we can add it to this menu here. Um, but let me go ahead and just switch the menu here on mobile. So we're gonna have to just duplicate this one. Obviously, as you can tell, now we have two of them. So you're just gonna have to know which one's which. So this one's gonna be the regular one. So this one, I'm gonna go to advance and I'm gonna, sorry, go into responsiveness and I'm gonna hide this one on mobile. And then this one here, I'm gonna switch it to my mobile and then I'm gonna go to advanced responsive and we're gonna hide it on tablet and desktop. And if I'm correct, everything is set up properly now. So now if we minimize this, you can tell everything's good, everything's good. We do have that little issue with, well, we'll try to fix later on. And it does seem like it started. Yeah, so this one is still, des it's still, still desktop because my uh, tablet starts right here. All right, but we'll fix that later on. And there are a few little glitches here, as you can tell, but now, see, now we have the log out here in the account. So that's perfect. Um, let me just fix that mobile issue here. I don't know why it's doing that, to be honest. It could be because of this other menu that I added under it. But I really doubt that. Um, you know what we, yeah, okay, I see what we can do. It's really, it's a really easy fix, actually. So we just need to make this um, part a little smaller, probably, and just give it a lot more space. There we go. So I think that shouldn't happen now. Let's just go ahead and test that out real quick. I'll even do it on here. I don't really care where. I just want to fix it. There we go. So you see that? Bam. It's fixed. It looks like we have another issue. Oh, it's because it's different on. Oh yeah, it's, it's switched on tablet. So we just need to go ahead and fix this realistically. Um, See so how yeah, that's now set to 70. It's set to, to default. I think default, this was set to 50. And then this one was also set to 50. So we're just going to leave it at that. And I think now it should be fixed completely. There we go. So perfect, perfect, and perfect. Okay. So that's it. And um, hopefully this video wasn't too long, but I'm sure you guys did get a lot out of it because I did cover quite a bit. Um, I'm probably going to continue on with this, I guess, little series here and then and probably in the next video, um, whenever I continue on to it, we're going to go ahead and create a dashboard. Um, so if you guys do want to watch that video in the future, uh, make sure to comment down below and also like this video and that'll definitely be greatly appreciated. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos, especially not the next one where I come out with um, how to create a dashboard. Um, that's definitely going to be a very interesting video. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.